Hello gardeners and today I'm in my polytunnel and I'm going to be repotting my Peter Glazebrook onions because finally I got my canes for my onions my 11 centimetre square pots for my onions and I think in this box I'm not entirely sure but it sounds like my onion clips so I'm going to be repotting my onions today and if we go to the grow cupboard I'll show you how they've been getting on so come with me and here are my onions in my grow cupboard I've got a two litre bowl just so you can see the size of them they seem to be quite a good size once again I'm gonna whittle out the small ones and the big ones will go back into the grow cupboard and the smaller ones will go into my heater propagator in the polytunnel so I'll take these down now we'll put these in the polytunnel and I'll meet you there hi so we've got the onions in the polytunnel ready to be potted up the roots have already started to come through on some of these onions and some of these onions seem to have quite a lot of roots in but they should be fine for repotting so the, the compost I'm using this is peat moss compost and I've put it in my heated propagator for two days just to bring it up to temperature so it doesn't shock the onions We'll get this out, we'll open this up and I don't bother sieving this, this is really good compost. I got it from Lidl's, that's uh, two pounds for I don't know how many litres there is, 35 litres. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one, one of these onions, onions here and I'm going to get some uh, one of these square pots and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the onion out of the pot because you can see there there's quite a lot of roots on there so it should hold together I'm going to lay it down then I'm going to put a handful of compost in the and pot and then get the onion place that in the pot like that and then just fill in the corners as easy as that so I think I've got about 50 of these to do so I won't film me potting up every single one so I'll see you in a bit so that's all the onions potted up and next thing to do is to open this box so, yep definitely the onion clips so I've got 100 onion clips and that was £12.7 and p from eBay that was the cheapest I could find them, they had them on Amazon but they were, I think they are only about a pound more expensive but why spend the extra pound I think so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get my stick I'm going to put that by the onion, just like that and then get your onion clip clip it onto the cane bring it round the onion clip it back onto the cane like that so I'll keep doing these to all the onions and then what I'll do is I'll select which ones I want to put in the grow room. So that's all my onions caned and clipped. Uh, don't ask me how long has taken me because it's taken me anyway, too long. Anyway, so now these are all clipped up I'm going to select the strongest ones to go into the grow cupboard and the weaker ones I'm not going to throw them away I'm going to put them in the heater propagator. These are the onions I decided to keep so these ones will be going into the grow cupboard there's 24 there so hopefully they'll all fit if my calculations are right uh, they should all fit and over here are all the onions that are going to be in the heated propagator and I'm going to cut the canes a bit shorter so they'll all fit in with the door shut right then so first things first I'll cut the canes on the ones in the heated propagator and then I'll take these ones up I'll have to raise the light for the canes and get them in so I'll cut these canes first so that's all the canes cut so now this lid should shut yeah lovely right let's carry these up to the grow cupboard then and here are all my onions in my grow cupboard I managed to fit all 24 in there 
well that's my onions repod so please feel free to like or even subscribe and I'll see you next time so thanks a lot for watching and keep gardening <laughs>